Welcome back to our channel. Today, we delve into the lives of celebrities who once had it all but faced drastic setbacks, leaving them with almost nothing. From financial woes to personal struggles, their stories are both captivating and cautionary. Join us as we explore the turbulent journeys of celebrities who lost everything. Now, let's get started. Nicolas Cage, born on January 7, 1964, in Long Beach, California, is an acclaimed American actor, producer, and director. Cage rose to prominence in the 1980s with his diverse roles in films such as Raising Arizona, 1987, and Moonstruck, 1987, earning critical acclaim and establishing himself as a versatile actor. Throughout his career, Cage experienced both highs and lows, delivering memorable performances in movies like Leaving Las Vegas, 1995, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor. However, he also faced financial troubles, making headlines for extravagant spending and accumulating debt. Despite occasional setbacks, Cage remained a prolific actor, starring in a range of films, from action blockbusters to indie projects. Now, in 2023, Nicolas Cage is 59 years old, and his enduring presence in the film industry reflects his resilience and commitment to his craft. MC Hammer, born Stanley Kirk Burrell on March 30, 1962, in Oakland, California, is an American rapper, dancer, and entrepreneur. He gained widespread fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s with hits like You Can't Touch This and Too Legit to Quit, known for his flashy dance moves and signature baggy pants. His album Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him, 1990, became one of the best-selling rap albums of all time. While MC Hammer initially enjoyed immense success, he faced financial troubles due to extravagant spending and mismanagement, leading to bankruptcy in the early 1990s. Despite the challenges, he continued to explore various ventures, from music production to tech entrepreneurship. Today, MC Hammer is 61 years old, and his impact on the hip-hop genre and popular culture endures. His journey reflects the volatility of fame and the ability to reinvent oneself in the face of adversity. Tony Braxton, born on October 7, 1967, in Severn, Maryland, is an acclaimed American singer, songwriter, and actress. She rose to fame in the early 1990s with her soulful and emotive voice, marked by hits like Unbreak My Heart and Breathe Again. Braxton's self-titled debut album in 1993 won her multiple Grammy Awards, solidifying her status as an R&B icon. Throughout her career, Braxton experienced both commercial success and personal challenges. Financial issues, including bankruptcy, and health concerns, such as her battle with lupus, impacted her journey. Despite these setbacks, Braxton continued to release successful albums and remained a respected figure in the music industry. As of now, Toni Braxton is 56 years old, and her enduring legacy in soul and R&B music reflects her resilience and artistic contributions over the decades. Burt Reynolds, born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan, was an American actor, director, and producer. Reynolds gained fame in the 1970s and 1980s, known for his charismatic on-screen presence and roles in films such as Deliverance, 1972, Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, and Boogie Nights, 1997, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. Reynolds' career reached great heights, making him one of Hollywood's leading men. However, financial troubles and career setbacks, particularly in the 1990s, led to a decline in his mainstream success. Unfortunately, Burt Reynolds passed away on September 6, 2018, at the age of 82. The cause of death was a heart attack. Reynolds left behind a legacy as an iconic figure in American cinema, celebrated for his wit, charm, and enduring contributions to the film industry.
Dennis Rodman, born on May 13, 1961, in Trenton, New Jersey, is a former professional basketball player, renowned for his unconventional style both on and off the court. Rodman gained fame in the NBA during the late 1980s and 1990s, primarily for his exceptional rebounding skills, defensive prowess, and vibrant personality. He played a significant role in the success of teams like the Chicago Bulls and the Detroit Pistons. Rodman's career was marked by numerous accolades, including multiple NBA championships and Defensive Player of the Year awards. Off the court, his eccentric behavior and colorful persona garnered media attention. Despite occasional controversies and personal struggles, Rodman's impact on the game and pop culture remains notable. As of 2023, Dennis Rodman is 62 years old, and his legacy endures as one of the most distinctive and successful players in the history of professional basketball. Kim Basinger, born on December 8, 1953, in Athens, Georgia, is an accomplished American actress and former fashion model. She gained widespread recognition in the 1980s for her roles in films such as Nine and a Half Weeks, 1986, and Batman, 1989, where she portrayed Vicki Vale. Basinger's career reached its pinnacle with her Academy Award-winning performance in L.A. Confidential, 1997. Throughout her career, Basinger has showcased versatility, transitioning seamlessly between dramatic roles and more light-hearted fare. In addition to acting, she has been involved in activism and animal rights causes. Basinger faced financial challenges in the late 1990s, declaring bankruptcy after a controversial investment in the purchase of a small town in Georgia. Currently, Kim Basinger is 70 years old, and her enduring impact on Hollywood, coupled with her advocacy work, solidifies her as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Gary Coleman, born on February 8, 1968, in Zion, Illinois, was an American actor and child star best known for his iconic role as Arnold Jackson in the TV sitcom Different Strokes, which aired from 1978 to 1986. His catchphrase, What You Talkin' Bout, Willis, became a cultural phenomenon. While Coleman's early career was marked by success, he faced financial troubles and legal battles with his parents and business advisors, resulting in financial difficulties and strained relationships. As an adult, Coleman struggled to transition to new roles and faced health issues. Sadly, Gary Coleman passed away on May 28, 2010, at the age of 42. The cause of death was an intracranial hemorrhage. His life and career, filled with highs and lows, serve as a poignant reflection on the challenges faced by child stars in the entertainment industry. Pamela Anderson, born on July 1, 1967, in Ladysmith, British Columbia, Canada, is a Canadian-American actress, model, and animal rights activist. She skyrocketed to fame in the 1990s as the iconic lifeguard C.J. Parker in the television series Baywatch. Anderson's stunning looks and charismatic on-screen presence turned her into a global sex symbol. Beyond Baywatch, she had success in acting with roles in films like Barb Wire, 1996, and VIP, 1998 to 2002. Additionally, Anderson posed for numerous Playboy covers, cementing her status as a sex icon. While her career experienced ups and downs, Anderson remained in the public eye due to her personal life, including high-profile relationships and her activism for animal rights. Presently, Pamela Anderson is 56 years old, and her enduring influence on popular culture continues, marked by her multifaceted career and commitment to social causes. Stephen Baldwin, born on May 12, 1966, in Massapequa, New York, is an American actor, producer, and author. He gained fame in the 1990s with notable roles in films like The Usual Suspects, 1995, and Biodome, 1996. Baldwin, 
part of the Baldwin acting dynasty, distinguished himself with his intense performances and charismatic presence. While his early career was marked by success, Baldwin faced financial challenges and a dip in mainstream popularity. In the 2000s, he turned to reality television, participating in shows like Celebrity Apprentice. Baldwin also became known for his outspoken Christian faith and conservative political views. Now, in 2023, Stephen Baldwin is 57 years old, and despite fluctuations in his entertainment career, he has maintained visibility through diverse projects and his public persona. His journey reflects the complex dynamics of fame and the diverse paths actors navigate in the ever-evolving entertainment industry. Chris Tucker, born on August 31, 1971, in Atlanta, Georgia, is an American actor and comedian. He gained widespread fame in the 1990s with his roles in the Friday film series alongside Ice Cube and as Detective James Carter in the Rush Hour trilogy alongside Jackie Chan. Tucker's unique comedic style, characterized by his high-pitched voice and energetic delivery, contributed to his popularity. While Tucker achieved great success with the Rush Hour films, he took a hiatus from acting for several years. Financial troubles and a desire for a break from the industry were cited as reasons for his absence. He returned to the spotlight with the stand-up comedy film Chris Tucker, live in 2015 and has since continued to engage in both acting and stand-up comedy. Today, Chris Tucker is 52 years old, and his contributions to comedy and film continue to be celebrated, showcasing his enduring impact on popular culture. Willie Nelson, born on April 29, 1933, in Abbott, Texas, is an iconic American country music singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Known for his distinctive voice and unconventional style, Nelson emerged as a prominent figure in the outlaw country music movement of the 1970s. His breakthrough came with the album Red-Headed Stranger, 1975, and hits like On the Road Again and Always On My Mind. Nelson's career spans over six decades, marked by numerous awards, including multiple Grammy wins. Beyond music, he's also a prolific songwriter and actor. Despite facing financial challenges and legal issues, such as his well-publicized tax troubles in the 1990s, Nelson's resilience and contributions to the country music genre have solidified his legendary status. As of now, Willie Nelson is 90 years old, and he remains a beloved and influential figure in American music. Randy Quaid, born on October 1, 1950, in Houston, Texas, is an American actor known for his diverse roles in film and television. He gained fame in the 1970s and 1980s through acclaimed performances in movies like The Last Detail, 1973, and National Lampoon's Vacation, 1983. Quaid's quirky characters and comedic timing contributed to his popularity. While Quaid experienced success in his early career, financial and legal troubles emerged in the 2000s. He and his wife faced legal issues related to burglary charges and alleged property damage, leading to their self-imposed exile in Canada to avoid arrest. Currently, Randy Quaid is 73 years old. Despite his earlier achievements in Hollywood, his later years have been marked by personal and legal challenges, overshadowing his contributions to the entertainment industry. Larry King born on November 19, 1933, in Brooklyn, New York, was an iconic American television and radio host. He gained fame for his conversational interview style on the talk show Larry King Live, which ran on CNN from 1985 to 2010. King's career spanned over six decades, and he conducted over 30,000 interviews, featuring prominent figures from various fields. Known for his trademark suspenders and direct yet friendly interviewing approach, King became a broadcasting legend. He also hosted radio shows and wrote columns. 
Larry King passed away on January 23, 2021, at the age of 87. The cause of death was reported as sepsis resulting from a severe case of COVID-19. King's impact on the media landscape and his contributions to the art of the interview continue to be remembered and celebrated. Janice Dickinson, born on February 15, 1955, in Brooklyn, New York, is an American model, author, and television personality. Often referred to as the world's first supermodel, Dickinson rose to fame in the 1970s and 1980s, becoming a prominent figure in the fashion industry. She worked with renowned photographers and graced the covers of numerous magazines. Dickinson's career extended beyond modeling, as she transitioned into television, gaining widespread recognition as a judge on the reality show America's Next Top Model in the mid-2000s. However, her career faced challenges, including personal struggles and controversies. Presently, Janice Dickinson is 68 years old. Despite the ups and downs in her career and personal life, Dickinson remains an influential figure in the modeling world, known for her trailblazing contributions and candid personality. Mike Tyson, born on June 30, 1966, in Brooklyn, New York, is a former professional boxer and one of the most renowned heavyweight champions in the history of the sport. Tyson gained fame for his ferocious fighting style and became the youngest heavyweight champion at age 20. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Tyson's career reached its zenith, marked by dominating victories and widespread recognition. However, Legal troubles, including a 1992 conviction for rape, and personal challenges led to a decline in his career. Despite facing setbacks, Tyson made a comeback in the mid-1990s, winning the WBC and WBA titles. Post-retirement, he continued to be a pop culture figure, appearing in films and even transitioning to a successful podcast, Hotboxing with Mike Tyson. As of 2023, Mike Tyson is 57 years old. His tumultuous yet remarkable career, both inside and outside the ring, has solidified his status as a boxing legend. Nicole Eggert, born on January 13, 1972, in Glendale, California, is an American actress best known for her role as Summer Quinn on the popular television series Baywatch in the 1990s. She began her career at an early age with appearances in TV shows like Charles in Charge. Eggert's fame peaked during her stint on Baywatch, where her athletic prowess and on-screen charisma contributed to the show's success. However, her career faced challenges in the following years, marked by fewer prominent roles. In addition to her professional journey, Eggert became known for her participation in reality TV shows, including Splash, 2013, and Botched. 2015. Today, Nicole Eggert is 51 years old, and while her acting career may have experienced fluctuations, her contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly in the realm of iconic 90s television, remain part of her legacy. Dionne Warwick born on December 12, 1940, in East Orange, New Jersey, is a legendary American singer, actress, and television show host. She rose to prominence in the 1960s with a string of hits, including Walk On By and I Say A Little Prayer. Warwick's soulful voice and collaborations with songwriters Burt Bacharach and Hal David contributed to her success. Throughout her career, Warwick has earned multiple Grammy Awards and has been recognized for her versatile talent. She continued to stay relevant across decades with chart-topping songs and diverse collaborations. While Warwick faced financial challenges at various points, her influence endured. As of 2023, Dionne Warwick is 83 years old, and her impact on the music industry, along with her philanthropic work, cements her status as one of the enduring voices in the history of American popular music.
Terrell Owens, born on December 7, 1973, in Alexander City, Alabama, is a former professional American football wide receiver. Known for his exceptional athleticism, Owens rose to fame during his 15-season career in the National Football League NFL. He played for several teams, including the San Francisco 49ers, Philadelphia Eagles, and Dallas Cowboys. Owens became famous not only for his remarkable on-field performances but also for his outspoken personality and flamboyant celebrations. Despite his individual success, he faced controversies related to his relationships with teammates and management. Currently, Terrell Owens is 50 years old. Despite not being in the NFL, Owens has remained in the public eye through various ventures, including reality television appearances and philanthropic efforts. His dynamic career and outspoken persona have left a lasting impact on the sport and its cultural landscape. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed exploring these stories with us, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing content. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and stay tuned for our next deep dive into the fascinating world of celebrities. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.